Hi, my name is Sam Holo. I'm a forward deployed engineer at Rhino Federated Computing. Today, I'm going to provide a brief intro to the Rhino Federated Computing Platform, or Rhino FCP. The Rhino FCP solves one of the biggest challenges in AI by seamlessly connecting siloed data in such a way that data remains private and intellectual property remains secure. We do this using Federated Computing, or Secure Generic Edge Execution of Code, including Federated Learning, Federated Statistics, and Custom Code. The Rhino FCP offers a few key elements to our users. A flexible architecture, allowing users to host data on any major cloud or on-prem system. End-to-end -end data management workflows for multimodal data, schema definition, harmonization, and visualization. A privacy screen with custom differential privacy budgets and custom k-anonymization values. Secure deployment of everything from simple statistical queries to federated training of AI models or even full deployment of third-party applications. We provide strict role-based access controls, allowing data custodians to decide exactly what data they'd like to make available for collaboration, from where, to whom, for how long, and what code should be allowed to run on that data, along with audit logs. Data always remains behind the custodian firewall, and the only thing that leaves is summary statistics or model weights for the purposes of aggregation. I'll now briefly walk you through the Rhino FCP itself. Here you can see all of the projects available to me as a collaborator. I'm going to show you how to set up a new project. The first step is naming the project and establishing project settings and permissions, which is critical to maintaining data privacy and security. Here you can see I can define roles, including who has permission to view or run code on my data sets, settings related to differential privacy, and settings related to k-anonymization. Once these permissions are set, we can create the project. Then we are able to add collaborators to the project, which I will do by clicking in and then coming to the collaborators project. These collaborators that we add by hitting new collaborator are able to import their own data sets to their project. Keep in mind that the data stays and rests at their site. They do, the, they do so by coming to the datasets page and hitting import. With datasets added, we would then add code, ranging from simple SQL queries to Python data preprocessing scripts to AI model training and evaluation. Once that code is added, the Rhino SCP then serves as the MLOps platform for my project, helping me to manage data preprocessing and training. For example, if we come to this completed project, we can see we've completed many successful code runs, created new data sets, and even generated reports. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out.